Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I will be reacting to what if Joey Wheeler was protagonist of Yu-Gi-Oh! instead of Yugi by Multiversal Studios. Greetings, Duelists. Welcome to the town of Domino. The story starts with Seto Kaiba announcing his new Battle City tournament in Domino City. After receiving Obelisk the Tormentor from Ishizu, Kaiba aimed to win Slife of the Sky Dragon and the Winged Dragon of Ra. Makes sense to me. And from there, things pretty much followed the original anime. Joey vows to help Yugi achieve his destiny and enters the Battle Sea tournament. However, Joey wasn't exactly Seto's favorite person in the world, and did Joey got one star, and his rarest card was Red Eyes, and it became Time Wizard when Red Eyes was stolen by the rare hunter. I remember that. Didn't receive an invite to the tournament. <laughs> That's right, Joey. Fall to the dirt like a whimpering dog. And we're already Still. suffering an ad. Hold on. And dog, back. Dog. But that didn't stop Alpha from entering from anyway. Entering oh, yeah. oh yeah! Lady Lux, Lady on, my Lux on my side! Joey's first it always is. in the Battle Sea tournament was facing a rare hunter named Seeker. Named Seeker. Joey, was Joey was ambushed on his way to see his sister, sister. And, Joey's and Joey's signature Red Eyes Black Dragon was taken from him. And now your precious Red Eyes Black Dragon is mine! I, I don't get how it's so rare. It's, it's literally, it's, I just don't get it. Joey's best Joey's friend, best friend Yugi, Yugi reclaimed the Red Eyes Black Dragon from, from the Rat Hunter. Hunter. Yugi needs to line with that card in Duel Links. Here you go, Here you Joey. go Joey. Take your Red Take Eyes, your red eyes back. back. Joey asks Yugi to ask hold on to his red eyes as a token, as a token of, friendship, of friendship, leaving the Time Wizard as, as, as his rarest card. Joey Wheeler, Joey Wheeler now eager to prove himself, makes his way through the tournament, through the defeating, defeating duelist, duelist after duelist. After duelist. Defeating duelist after duelist with Swordsman of Landstar. With the new with Battle, the new City, battle City, City Both players Both must players ante up their rarest, rarest cards, card. and the loser of the duel forfeits his card to the winner. Joey first won the Unstoppable Jinzo. Pretty good. I mean, it has 2400 attack like Red Eyes. Right? He then defeated Weevil. Weevil. Pretty good. If you get a bunch, if you get a bunch of to uh, insect tokens. Taking his insect queen. And finally, and finally defeated, defeated Mako, Mako, securing his place securing in the finals. In the finals. How is he going to use Fortress Whale? I see why Mako gave him Legendary Taking Fisherman. Taking the Fortress Whale, as well as the, as well as the Legendary Fisherman, fisherman card. card. It was at this was moment, moment Marik, the, the owner of the Millennium Rod, seeking, seeking the boundless the power of the Pharaoh, of the Pharaoh takes control takes of Joey control and turns Joey him into a mind into a zombie. zombie. Joey is not, not present. present. He's got away. He's away. It's Marik! Using, Using him as a means to get to Yugi, this is the duel that would change Joey's life forever. The duel was like no other, as both Yugi and Joey were attached to an anchor. The loser of the duel would be dragged down to the bottom of the ocean and sent to the Shadow Realm. This was a, that was pretty dark. Was a tough duel tough for, both, duel for them, both of them, as Joey's as efforts to fight Marek in, in his mind was, was to no avail. avail. Yugi used Yugi several, several methods to try and awaken Joey. Please take this. It's my most my precious possession. possession. That one, that seemed pretty emotional. The Millennium, the millennium puzzle. puzzle, now a piece now of, me, of me, will always, will always be with me. With you. Yuki realizing Yuki that Joey was that Joey too far, was too far gone, gone, sacrificed his own life in order to, in order to save Joey from the Shadow, from the Shadow Realm. However, However, it was at this moment, this moment seeing Yuki's, Yuki's body flail into the ocean, the ocean. Joey snaps Joey out of Mario's control, control, seeing his best seeing friend his best in mortal, friend danger. mortal danger. danger. By the time By Joey the time could get to Yuki, he was already unconscious, and his mind was in the Shadow Realm. They took Yugi's unconscious, unconscious body, body back to Yugi's, to Yugi's grandfather, grandfather, and Joey decided to enter decided Battle City to alone, alone, in order to bring order back to bring Yugi back from, the from the shadows. Get back, Yugi! Joey is still Joey's having still the Millennium having Puzzle, puzzle around, his around his neck. He left for the, left finals, for the finals to face Mari. The, the first to arrive was Joey, was Joey and Mari, following Bakura, Mari, Odeon, Ishizu, and last, a strange figure known as Shadi. Including Kaiba, that, that made eight finalists. finalists. That night, that Joey night, dreamt Joey about Yugi being in the, in the Shadow Realm. A Tem from the Millennium from Puzzle entered his dream and told, and told him that he had the power to save Yugi and, and the world. The first the duel of the finals, finals will consist of consist Joey, Joey versus Bakura. How do we think this duel would really go down? 
The duel was very difficult for Joey, as Bikora had Joey on the ropes at multiple occasions, with his final destiny as well as Dark Sanctuary combination. Joey was very close to losing, as he was staring at his deck, as he had no idea what card could save him now. Then he heard the Pharaoh's voice. Joey, this battle is still far from over! Yeah, I think that's what would go on uh, in his mind. I know I can do it. The odds are against me, but my friends are with me. Gotta have faith! A bolt of electricity shook Joey as he touched the top card of his deck. Drawing it from his deck, he sacrificed the three monsters on the side of the board, helped by the spirit of the pharaoh. He summoned the Egyptian god card, Slicer, the Sky Dragon. We all know Joey should have won Raw. I'm still mad about that. With the slice of the Sky Dragon, Joey wiped out the core from the tournament. And another ad. Hold on again. And we back for a second time. Only later did Joey realize that it was the Pharaoh who placed the slice. And in Dark. Bakora take over for regular Bakora to make sure regular Bakora didn't get hurt. Life the Sky Dragon the sky in his deck, deck believing, believing he would need it in order to defeat Mari. The next match the next consisted match of Mai versus Odeon. Odeon. Odeon, was Odeon was dominating using, using his trap heavy deck. Marek demanded Marek Odeon to use a fake Wind Dragon of Raw. In anger, Raw struck Odeon down. Forgive me, Master. I failed making Mai Valentine, Valentine the winner of the duel, of the duel as well as, as releasing well as Marek's evil side. <laughs> I'm finally free again. The next the match next was between match Shardy, between Shardy, Shardy and, Marek. and Marek. Shardy was the protector of the pharaohs. Ra versus whatever, I don't know what card Shardy and has. And the pharaoh's vessel, Yugi, was sent to the Shadow Realm. Shardy took it upon himself to come down and defeat the Great Evil, believing that if he defeated Marit, the pharaoh would also return. However, the darkness in Marit had grown, and it was too much for him to handle, and he was also sent to the Shadow This could be the end of me! He's not gonna fall. The last match the last was between match was Ishizu, between Ishizu and, Kaiba, and Kaiba, and we all know we how, all that, know went how down. that went down. Changing fate, what if Ishizu saved the cannon thing for Blue Eyes instead of Obelisk? Blue Eyes, White Dragon, attack! White Battle of Life Points, with White Lightning, attack! The blast held by a tribute, that's what I was thinking of. Only four Only finalists four remained. remained. Joey, Joey, Mari, Mari, Kaiba, Kaba, and Mai. In the semi-finals, Mai would go against Mari, and Joey would go against Kaiba. Mai Valentine was the only finalist who didn't have an Egyptian god card, putting her at a great advantage. Against Mari's winged dragon of Ra, Mai Valentine lost her soul to the Shadow Realm. You and I had an agreement, so... This yeah, pushed Joey over, over the edge, as losing as Yuzi and, and Mai was, was too much for him. For him. The next the match next was Joey was versus, versus Kaiba. Kaiba. How do we expect Joey to get past Kaiba here? Yeah, and by yeah, some miracle, Joey beats Kaiba. Joey beats Kaiba. Yeah, I'm yeah, really I'm sorry, really Kaiba. This gave <laughs> Joey two <laughs> Egyptian god cards. Can you tell me how Joey gets past Kaiba? I don't see any cards that can get Joey past Kaiba. The Slife of the Sky, Sky Dragon, Dragon and the Obelisk the, the Tormentor he received from, received from Seto. The finals, the finals arrived, arrived and it was Joey, it was Joey versus Marek. Marek activated his Shadow Game, game. but this time but it was, this time a, little was a little different. Every time Every a monster is summoned or a player or loses life points, points strength, strength would be sapped out of the duelist. Marek made Marek a fatal, fatal flaw when dueling against Joey. against Joey. He underestimated, he underestimated him, him by relying on his shadow, shadow game in order to, in order to He did that last time if Joey just said, 
I declare an attack before he passed out, he would have won. Joey's stroke. It came down, it came to, down the to the last move, move with Marit, wiping, wiping away Joey's away second Egyptian, Egyptian god card, card with his immortal with his Phoenix, Phoenix Ra. Marit, Marit relying on that one attack in order to wipe out all of Joey's strength. However, Joey still had some life in him. All Joey had to do was draw one monster and attack Marit directly to win the duel. Joey, however, was struggling to stay on his feet and collapsed. Yeah, and then the, uh, I forgot what it was called now. Uh, I think it was, no, it wasn't, uh, whatever. Dark Side of Dimension, that's what it was called. That happens. Pharaoh, using all his strength, drew Gifu, the Iron Knight. And declared an attack, bringing Marit's life points to zero. To zero. With that singular attack, Joey became the winner of Battle City and the new... Kaiba would have to respect Joey after that. You, King of Games. If you like that video... Alright guys, that'll be the end of the video. Uh, yeah, see you later. Goodbye. Uh, that wasn't a very good